Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a few basic things in Adobe Photoshop. The first one is to crop a picture. That means cut it. I'm going to right click on this photo of Semhar. Remember this is my copy. This is not my original, my first photo that is in my photos folder. This is my copy which is in my edits folder. I'm going to right click on my photo of Semhar and I'm going to say open with Adobe Photoshop. For this photo I think it's pretty interesting. I like I like Semhar's red sweater, but I think I can make this a little better because I don't like this background. I just want to keep the part with the white background. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this button right here, which is a square. Zoom in so you can see it. Zoom out. I click on that, and I'm going to select just the part I want. So I'm going to keep it from here to here, just like that. Okay, then I come up here to image, and I say crop. Crop means cut. And now I have a very different image that I think is pretty interesting, a very different portrait. I'm going to save it. I can save the same way in Adobe Photoshop that I do in Premiere. I hit Command S, but then I just have to hit OK. Now you can see, when I go back to my folder, that my portrait is now cropped. It's cut. When I open it, it looks like this now. So that's one way. I can cut any image. I'm going to show you one more time with this photo of Juan. I hit image and crop. That makes an image of just Juan's eyes. I can zoom in by hitting command plus just like in Premiere. And you can see I can get very close to him and it's still in focus. If I made a mistake, I can hit Command Z just like in Premiere and it will go back. I can also do Edit, Step Backwards, Edit, Step Backwards to do the same thing. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to make a photo black and white when it's color. So I want to try this photo of Juan in black and white instead of color. And I say Image, Adjustments, black and white. And I hit OK. I've changed this picture of Juan to black and white. It was just that easy, guys. So now I can hit Command S and save it. And I hit OK. Now you can see in my folder my new version of this photo of Juan is in black and white. But I still have my old one right here, which is in color. Now I'm going to show you how to change the brightness and the contrast for a photo. Let's take this one of Miriam. I'm going to go right click, open with Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. I can go view zoom in. For this one I want to increase the contrast a little bit. So I'm going to say image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. I'm going to click on this. Now I'm going to play with this for almost every portrait that I have. For this one I think I want to increase the contrast to make the black a little blacker. Let's try that. When I increase this a lot, you can see it becomes a more powerful photo. The dark spots are darker and the light spots are lighter. Here I can also change the brightness if I want. I can increase it like this. That makes something interesting. I don't love it. I can decrease it like this. That makes it darker. That makes it interesting as well. I don't love that either. I'm going to increase it back to where it was at zero and I'm going to hit OK. The last thing I want to show you is how to increase the color. For this one, again, I want to start by increasing the contrast as well. I hit Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and I want to increase the contrast of this one as well. I do this for most of my photos.
to about right there. That makes Luis stand out a little bit more against the wall. I hit OK. Now I'm going to go Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to hit this one here. Hue and Saturation. That means color, guys. I hit that one right there. And I'm going to play with this part right here. Saturation. I'll show you. You don't want to do this too much, guys, but you can change your photos a lot using this. If I want it to be just a little bit more colorful, I can increase this by 10 points. You can see that made it even more colorful. If I want, you can see how interesting this gets when I increase it by a lot. That's an interesting photo of Luis. I like how colorful it is. I think it might be too colorful, so I'm going to decrease it again. But I think it's pretty cool right there. Here's the original. Here's the first one. Here's it after my edits. You can see how cool this